vision is believing. However, what we see and the world that we perceive can be very different from reality. As the brain is attempting to actively construct an optimal representation of the world under natural ecological conditions. Like cameras, our brain captures the external distribution of light and transmits some of it to the occipital of all of the two hemispheres which commands the first processing to derive the main salient information for each individual position in the visual field. Here, the neurons, the building block of the nervous system, respond to simple visual elements, as shown in this original recording from the Nobel Prize winners, Jubel and Wiesel, in the 60s. Line and border of specific orientation excite a specific neuron, and the visual scene is represented in a sparse and distributed multitude of neuron assemblies, which have inspired artificial neural network now implemented in many modern visual devices. To construct the image of the world, our brain uses at least 25 different cortical areas in each hemisphere, shown here in different colors, each specialized for the analysis of different aspects of the retinal input. The analysis is performed in parallel with continuous cross-talk between the various areas. This pervasive feedforward or bottom-up analysis from retina to associative cortex should not be considered erroneously to be the only visual mechanism used by vision. The internal representation of the world is achieved by a complex and partially unknown phenomenon that combines feedforward analysis with prior knowledge that includes expectation, attention, temporal spatial constants that we learn during development. For example, here, the tallest of this group of students is kneeling on the chair, but we see and then we believe that he said a wharf. This is a version of a dummy's room illusion where wrong perspective cues of the ad hoc built chairs give a strong illusion of that. To fit with that illusion, the student must be seen as small. Similarly, these rotating masks are hollow, but we perceive them as convex because we learn a true experience that face are solid, with the nose pointing out, not hollow, with concave noses. Prior information helps generate vision in all domains. Look at this dress. Are the stripe of this piece of material yellow or blue? It depends. The working prior tells the brain that the shadow and the dress material are constant or space, and the brain resolves the ambiguity of the scene by switching color. But do we know that we see all the same? We believe this to be so, but individual variations are consistent and real. Some people see the central dress as gold, other as blue. Vision is never constant. Adapt rapidly to the changing world over periods from milliseconds to years over the lifespan. By adaptation, this black and white image become a transient coloring after fixating the central spot of this colorful image. The perception of the transient colorful painting of the physically black and white image demonstrates adaptation at the photoreceptors level of the retina. Adaptation allows our brain to discriminate incredible small variation of the visual input. It takes place at all stage of analysis in all associative cortex. 
What you see now is influenced by what you just saw a few seconds or minutes ago, being it an object of a particular shape, a face, a place, and the motion part. Is this beautiful Van Gogh picture dynamic? No, but if you adapt to motion, as we just experienced, it starts molding. We move continuously, our body, head and eye, and external objects move continuously. But we do perceive them sharp and precise and not contaminated by the motion. The brain achieves all this by analyzing input on the fly. But without the prior information of the constancy of the object shape and its movement and position that we learn with experience, it would take seconds instead of milliseconds and vision would be highly precise. So the take home message is vision is generative. We generate or better hallucinate our perception and check this generated image against incoming sensory signal corrected where necessary.